with more concern this afternoon about the fast spreading Omicron variant, there are a lot more people wanting to get tested for COVID now. So this week, the Webster County Health Department went all in. They opened up a two day long testing clinic and we have WHO 13's Roger Riley in Fort Dodge with the questions about who should be showing up for this. When should they be showing up? Hey, Roger, you got some answers? Hey, yeah, Dan. Well, first of all, this clinic building here uh, opened for rapid testing yesterday and today, kind of a special thing, and they've tested almost 150 people in two days. Now, after the holidays, uh, people are concerned as some are heading back to work. My daughter is 16, or almost 16, and tested positive at home, so we wanted to be sure that I'm okay, I'm negative. So I came in from a test. So um, we received a call from our provider network and our hospital stating that they were having um, a lot of people coming into their express care uh, to their providers offices of um, exposed people that are exposed and felt they needed to be tested pretty quickly. Uh, so Webster County set up this clinic. Uh, drive up testing has been going on here at the building, which is at 310 South 2nd Avenue. In conventional medical offices, the wait time had been going around four hours for a test. Uh, people from Webster County and surrounding areas came here for a test. You don't have to live in Webster County. And one big question people face is, when should I be looking to get tested? Normally, um, you know, if you're having severe symptoms, uh, respiratory distress or, you know, hard time breathing, um, we absolutely recommend that you get to a provider or get tested because we want to rule out COVID. Um, if you have a headache or a minor sniffle, we recommend that you stay home. Do not go to work because it, it might be COVID. It might not be, but you might just have a headache for the day. The big thing is, though, if you've been exposed and have symptoms is just stay home for a while and then see how those symptoms transpire. Now, if you're coming here for a test uh, on Friday, there's no charge uh, as they'll have this uh, test clinic here again on Friday. Now, you do ha need to have an appointment. Uh, the best way to get more information about this is on Facebook slash Webster County Public Health. Webster County Public Health uh, Facebook. If you search there, you should be able to find it. And you can find out how to sign up online. They recommend uh, signing up online because calls can be kind of confusing. But basically, the, the, if there's any doubt, Dan, the, what I took away from this today was that, you know, yeah, you may have a sniffle or yeah, mm -hmm. maybe you've been around your uncle who tested positive. Don't rush right in for a test. Wait, get, you know, stay home for three or four or five days. See if you have any symptoms. And then if, the, if it gets worse, then obviously get tested because you might need to be seen by a medical professional. Yeah, Dan. which is great for the people who have the luxury of that time to do it. We, we understand there are others who... Right. I don't feel the pressure to get back to work for a variety of reasons. Roger, That's Riley, right. Live in right. Fort Dodge this afternoon. Thank you, Roger. Of course.